you on them last season now you've penned a two year deal with the club yeah um, I spoke to the gaffer after obviously the disappointment in the playoffs on the coach on the way back and he expressed um, kind of his intentions for me to be here and kind of straight away on the bus I know it was a bit obviously disappointing and a lot of high but you know I said to the gaffer I want to be here so we've just been kind of going backwards and forwards trying to get things sorted so it's finally done what is it that makes you want to be here um, to be honest, coming in the first day, I just kind of, I, I kind of felt like I fitted. Um, it was just a good fit for me. You know, I come in, uh, fitted in with a lot of the lads. I knew kind of a few of the lads, just kind of through friends, kind of thing. So, but um, I knew Doigie as well um, for a friend, and it, just, it, it was just a right fit. Sometimes you know when you know, and you know, I come into the club, and it just, it just felt right. And then obviously, my first game away, um, Alfton, the support was just unbelievable, and you know, the intensity of our fans is something that I probably maybe not been used to for a, for a long, long time. So, And just the support on Twitter and Facebook and, and the way the fans have been with me has just been fantastic. So it was a no-brainer for me. What did you make for your Alfton that day? It was a bit crazy, actually, because I was nervous <laughs> anyway because it was my first game. So, <laughs> And then to come out and see that many fans was just... Um, it's, you know, you want to play in front of fans like that um, every week, week in, week out. And I'm fortunate to be at a club that, you know, you can do that. And, you know, to be honest, every game is a cup final have for these had... fans because of the expectation of this football club is massive. So, you know, every day you've got to go out there and perform. And if you don't perform, the fans will let you know about it, which is something I like to, you know, thrive under. Have you had any other options close to home and during the summer? Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I took a pay cut to come here um, from Kidderminster. Um, and, you know, there's been uh, quite a few... You know, bits of interest and stuff but you know at the end of the day as soon as I spoke to the gaff after the game and the disappointment and seeing the, those lads um, on the pitch at Wembley disappointed and sad and you know grown men crying is not um, a good thing to see so you know you can't leave things like that and I, and I didn't feel it would be fair of me to leave the football club um, you know with heartache like that so you know for me it's a goal of mine to get us back in the league and, and you know bring some success back so that's why you know I stayed and you know that, that was that was my thinking I didn't, I didn't to be honest really consider going anywhere else this was this was it for me how disappointing was it for you to not to play at Wembley um, that's been the hardest week in my career if I'm going to be honest um, we knew on the Friday the week before that I'd done my hamstring and um, I'm, I'm an eternal optimist so um, on the uh, after dinner I, I fight pop and I thought mm. so we had a scan on the uh, Monday and it was you know they said three three to six weeks so, but me, the way I am, two days later, I was out on the training pitch trying to jog. So, <laughs> but now nah, um, it was just difficult to kind of rein that in because I was so disappointed, and you know. But you have to keep your disappointment to the minimal because at the end of the day, it's not about me. It was about the squad, and you know they needed to be positive and and not be going into the final. So, I think the hardest day for me was the Saturday. We went down to Wembley and we walked out on that pitch on Saturday, and that was heartbreaking for me to be honest. Looking at the stadium and, and the way it was, and then obviously coming out on the, on the Sunday and, and seeing the atmosphere and seeing all those fans there was just unbelievable. So, um, yeah, I mean, that was disappointing, but at the end of the day, it was, it was a great day. You know, we performed quite well and it was just unfortunate that we, you know, didn't, well, one penalty, isn't it? It's just, football's a cool game sometimes. Was it nice just being there and being involved? Yeah, definitely. I, I went in at half-time and um, give the lads a bit of encouragement and stuff and, and just willing the lads on, really. And, you know, they, they did perform really well. We probably could have been out of sight after about 20 minutes, I think, in the game, which, you know, football just... You know, obviously the handball kind of changed the game a little bit with the keeper. So, but no, it was a fantastic occasion. I mean, it's it's one of those things whereby it does spur you on, and you know, sometimes a disappointment can spur you on the next year, and it gives you that fire, it gives that determination. You know, I, I spoke to um, JP after the game, and he, you know, he was distraught, and I said to him, you know, next season you'll come back stronger. You'll be hurting for a couple of weeks, but next season you'll come back pre-season, you have that fire in your belly because you want to put wrong, not necessarily, not necessarily a wrong would I say because you know he was man enough to go up there and take it but you know he missed it at the end of the day and I know this season he'll come back and he'll probably have the best season he's had for Grimsby and what's the gaffer said to you what he wants from you next season um, he's just said for me to not be injured <laughs> no, <I'm joking>. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just said you know I'm not guaranteed a place you know we've got two fantastic centre halves here well hopefully that's signed in, in Sean and Toto and at the end of the day I'm not guaranteed a place he said you know the, the best man will play it's as simple as that and you know I wouldn't want it any other way I don't want to come into this football club and expect to play I, I've never expected that in my career you know I've got to come in I've got to work hard and I've got to earn my place in the team and you know that's that's what he expects of me and that's what I'll do what do you make of Toto? He's a bit loopy and he a little bit. Yeah, he's got a funny hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's a, he's a good lad. Um, he's got a lot of athleticism. You know, he, he's a good defender. He's, he's young. He's got time on his side as well. So, um, he he's a bit temperamental from from time to time, should I say? So, <laughs> but um, I, I understand him. I was a bit like that when I was younger myself. So, 
Um, I can understand and I can, I can relate to him, but you no, know, he's a great lad. You know, he's he's funny around the lads. You know, there's a lot of laugh and joke around the lads. So he, he's a brilliant guy. Be nice if he comes back and Sean, I want it. Yeah, I mean, if we can keep the Newcastle in the squad, that'd be fantastic because then you've got that platform to build on. And you know, we had I know it didn't end successfully, but we did have a, a pretty successful season. So if you can keep the Newcastle in that squad and then add to a few, then you know, no telling what we can do this year.